not every food is best for for you. There are and it, and it changes over time depending upon what your gut is like. So talk one second a little bit about your discovery of this and and how you think about it. you've been you've been a vegetarian all your life, right? And I've I've gone through uh, keto, vegan, uh, Mediterranean, and I've settled in on a Mediterranean diet. But talk to me about uh, you know your thoughts on on food because I do believe a lot of those healthcare disasters in the U.S. are are fundamentally secondary to what people eat, what people put in their bodies. Absolutely. And Peter, I mean, what people forget is that our human body is essentially is the electrical biochemical body. What we put into our body is actually being changed by a chemical factory called our gut microbiome and our oral microbiome. So essentially your oral microbiome is pre-processing the food, sending the signals to the uh, uh, brain, and that in turn is actually now getting ready for what is coming. And our gut microbiome, the 100 100 trillion of these microbes are actually processing the food, releasing a bunch of biochemicals, right? So imagine that we as humans, less than 1% of all the genes that are expressed in our body come from our mom and dad. 99% Ninety-nine percent come from all these microbes, yeah. and in some sense, we—it's not about them and us. We are a walking, talking ecosystem, and we have to start to think about we as one symbiotic uh, super organism. And this super organism, what we put in, actually matters because. Based on what we eat, our microbes are actually processing them, metabolizing them, and releasing the metabolite, or call them a micro poop, if you want to call them in simple words. That is what gets absorbed in our blood, and in interaction between our food, our what microbes are producing, and our immune system is really to key to understanding why we have immune disease, right? So yep. let's just start from a very simple fact. Our human body is like a donut. There is a tube that goes through us. On top of the tube, we have, our, and by the way, there's everything is sealed. So our body is all around that tube and the tube is nicely supposed to be sealed. 70% of our immune system is along our gut lining because this is really where the external environment meets the uh, inner body. So what's happening really is the food, when it comes in, our oral microbiome, it starts to pre-process the food And when it sees, as you mentioned, something like sugar, it starts to say, oh, something sweet is coming. It sends a signal for pancreas to start releasing insulin. And now the body is ready for sugar. Now, the second part that happens is when you eat something sweet, it's not sugar in itself, but sugar gets metabolized by your oral microbiome. And it, in fact, changes the acidity of your mouth. Right. So now changing the acidity is what causes your te- a tooth decay. So it's not the sugar in itself that causes a tooth decay. It is the microbes that process sugar, releasing the acid, acid that causes the tooth decay. Right. Similarly, when you have that de- uh, you know inflammation in your gum, suddenly your barrier to the body is broken. And now you have the microbes, now they are able, when you have a gum inflammation, now microbes are going into the blood, now you have a chronic inflammation because of that. And same thing happens in the gut. When you have a leaky gut, your microbes are now able to go past the barrier that's supposed to keep them inside check, is going into the blood causing chronic inflammation. Now, the food that we eat can actually cause inflammation. So based on how the food is actually being metabolized, so this idea that, Peter, you mentioned, what we learned is there is no such thing as universal healthy food. There is right. no such thing a food is good for you or bad for you. It is simply good for you right now or bad for you right now. And something that is good for you doesn't mean it's going to be good for your wife or your friend. So when you hear someone saying, hey, I am eating avocado and I'm really benefiting from it, doesn't mean if uh, avocado is a superfood for you. <laughs> so based on your uric acid production, because your avocado inc- increases your uric acid production. So if your uric acid production is already too high, the last thing you want to do is to eat uh, avocado because that's going to cause gout. Same thing happens with broccoli. So it's not that broccoli is bad or good. If you have high sulfide production, then you shouldn't be eating broccoli because it increases the sulfide that is inflammatory. 
And by the way, now I am not, I'm a vegetarian, but I'm not against eating meat. So red meat contains choline and carnitine. And when that gets processed by your microbes, they actually can convert that into TMA, trimethylamine, which actually gets absorbed in the blood and your liver converts them into TMAO, trimethylamine oxide. That is what causes the heart disease. So if yeah. your microbes are not producing enough TMA, you should eat red meat. It has a lot of nutrition in your body. So it's not the red meat that's good or bad. It is good or bad based on are you producing a lot of TMA or not enough TMA. Yeah. So, buddy, I, I think this is this is you know uh, critically important for folks to realize. It's you know when I do I don't want to I don't want to over over stress on Viome, but it's the only product I know right now that gives me feedback on which given the AI systems that you've built, which foods are appropriate given my oral and gut microbiome. And it changes over time, right? Mm -hmm. So I've gotten a incredible uh, increased respect for oral health and gut health because at the end of the day, um, it can make you or break you. And I had a tooth infection, yep. um, secondary, I won't go into it, but uh, that drove me to have to do an antibiotic course I tried to avoid the antibiotics, um, but at the end of the day, antibiotics are what allowed us to double our lifespan in the last 40 years or 50. And I ended up taking it and it changed my microbiome. And I have to you know, check again and make sure that I am properly repopulating my microbiome. 